Here in the Metro, a Jackson teenager on house arrest is facing new charges for trying to rob a Clinton woman. Yeah, 16 WAPT's Grayson Gordon spoke with Clinton City officials who say her dog and groceries kept the woman safe. Grayson, what can you tell us? We know that after this attempted robbery, Clinton police found out that the suspect driving the getaway car actually had an ankle monitor, having other charges within the city of Jackson. Tuesday night around 9 o'clock, a woman came home only to have a weapon pointed at her while unloading groceries. A uh, black male approached her on the sidewalk, pointed a gun in her face, and uh, demanded her keys to her vehicle and uh, her purse. Reacting quickly, she began grabbing the groceries and throwing them at the suspect, an unusual protector then jumping into action. The dog uh, jumped out of the vehicle and uh, bit at or bit the suspect, and uh, he fled on foot. Police Chief Ford Heyman says she immediately called the Clinton Police Department and they were able to respond quickly. An officer already in the neighborhood catching the two suspects, 18-year-old Ja'Cory Dillard and 18-year-old Quandarius Elam in a red Dodge Charger at a roadblock. It is ridiculous for a criminal about to be sentenced with a leg bracelet on his ankle to be running around Jackson, Clinton, the metro area, unobserved, unaccounted for. Who is the monitoring company? Why aren't they doing their job? Clinton police believe Elam is supposed to have made a plea deal next month for house burglary charges in another jurisdiction. We did reach out to Jackson City officials to figure out how these ankle monitors are monitored, but we do not yet have an answer for you. Reporting in, in Clinton, Grayson Gordon, 16 WAPT News.